Welcome to the 10 minute getting started guide. By the end of this video, you will have seen Conductor running a three node cluster on my regular laptop. Furthermore, we'll install and run Reactive Maps, which is a fully distributed Play and Acker cluster based application, all in 10 minutes. While we don't recommend that Conductor run within a Docker container for production purposes, given that Conductor can also control Docker images, Docker is perfect to get the conductor running on your local machine during development. We have a command line based utility named Sandbox. The Sandbox runs conductor as a Docker container and allows a conductor cluster to be set up very quickly. Not only is this useful for me to show you how to get started, but you'll also find the Sandbox useful to verify that your software works with conductor. Follow the instructions at docker.com to first install Docker if you have not done so already. Before we continue, we're going to configure the virtual machine that Docker machine will use, as we'll need more than the default allocations. On OS X at least, this is VirtualBox. A 3-node conductor cluster works well with 3 gigabytes of memory and 4 CPUs, given that it also runs your applications and services. To configure VirtualBox, we stop the machine, configure it, and then start it again. We'll also ensure that we have the latest and greatest Docker for additional good measure. OK, that's enough of Docker for a moment. We now have to install Python 3. Python 3 is required because Conductor's command line interface is written in Python. We chose Python given that it is in widespread usage by the operations community. Python also works unchanged on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Follow the installation instructions at python.org if you have not already installed Python 3. OK, so now we're ready to install the Conductor Sandbox. The Sandbox is bundled with other command line utilities that we use with Conductor. For now, let's get Conductor's command line utilities installed. We type the following command into the Docker terminal window. Once done, you can use the sandbox command. We can verify it by typing the following into a terminal window. You'll see that the sandbox command reports that we need to visit the download page on typesafe.com in order to obtain the latest version and confirm that your usage here is not for production. Conductor though is free to use for development purposes. Once you are supplied with the version, you can provide it to the sandbox run command. I'm going to use Conductor 1014, but you should always check out what the latest version is from the developer page. We update Conductor frequently. So let's run 1014 and run a demonstration application we have known as the Visualizer. The knowledge of loading and running the Visualizer demo is built into the sandbox and so we can just specify that we want it as a feature. What we're actually doing here is starting up a machine with conductor running and a proxy which is the well-known HA proxy. The proxy is used to direct requests to your applications and services running in conductor. Conductor will update HA proxy as the location of your applications and services change. Let's go ahead and check out the state of our cluster. As you can see, we have one instance of the Visualizer demo running. Let's take a look at that, noting the address of the Docker container from when we started the sandbox. You can see here that we have a machine identified by an IP address and then a node with a running circle. In the top right, we have a list of what is running and can see the Visualizer demo. That's right. We have the Visualizer demo hosted in Conductor and visualizing itself. OK, let's now load the Reactive Maps application. Reactive Maps comes in three parts. There's a front end and two back end components. That's all you really need to know right now. But check out the Reactive Maps Activator template if you'd like to learn more about how this fully reactive application works. 
We've published reactive maps to a repository so that it, it can be addressed easily from the command line. In fact, all that we must type is the following in order to load a bundle. We'll also load up the two other bundles. You'll notice that these are downloading quite fast for me because I've downloaded them before. The conduct command will cache previous downloads for you. Let's watch the progress of these starting up back on the Visualizer demo. There you go, all three are running. It is interesting to note that these three reactive map bundles share a single ACA cluster. Conductor guarantees that they are started in an orderly fashion and handles their cluster membership automatically. For fun, let's scale up another instance of the front-end service. This states that we want two instances of the front-end to be running. As you can see, the Visualizer demo confirms that both are now running. I know that port 9000 is used to communicate with the front end, so let's go and do that. Note that if we refresh the browser, then the proxy will ram Robin to the next instance running. Okay, that's enough to get us started. What you've just done is start a three node cluster running conductor and a multi instance and sophisticated set of reactive services. To get started, just click on the download link that we have next to this video on the Conductor product page. Conductor is free for development usage and production requires a type-safe subscription. Contact us on our website for details on our value pack subscriptions. Welcome to Conductor.